passion is the key word of the day and has been since last evening because brands is what we are talking about and brands are about the heart, spirit and soul and not about mind all the way. Strategy of it may be the mind but it is the passion that really makes a brand differentiated from just another product. Having said that, now I'd like to welcome on stage Mr. Nasir Ramadan, a big round of applause. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. You're listening to the most honorable dignitary here. Everybody has their views, and indeed, they're all valuable. But I think. But most importantly, I think I came with the right subject today. Spiritually, passion, heart, brand. We're forgetting, we're mortals. And we are running today's life, constitution and running. And hopefully by sharing our views this evening, we may be able to shed some light for those who may take action towards this. I would like to say, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. And good evening ladies and gentlemen. A few experiences and views during our brand journey that we thought it prudent to share with your honorable brand leaders this evening. Because no matter what business, government, brand, life in general, all is run by us mortals on the face of it. So that hopefully when conducting business and decision making stances, one may perhaps wish to know that old is gold and that as our elders say, and morals and values in society are lost as we see and at times we see them coming back through our children or in other ways and then we wish to clinge upon them but if the roots are not set from the offset there will be anarchy and we are somewhat in that direction in Hindi and Urdu they say and I will try to translate as I go in English too Har wali cheez sona nahi hoti not every shining thing is gold not everyone shaking your hand is not a friend. Again, moral talk to us from childhood which we cling to. And not every spread rumor is a fact or truth, but merely just a rumor. And could have many underlining motives as they say in Hindi or Urdu. Not every flying whisper is a true one. Are we ready? To realize this but not all like you or us may be so gifted to either correct them or put such rumors aright as and when they arise hence it's always essential from the offset of any launches and running of affairs as brand leaders to not to rely 100% on your partners employees but to do the needful diligently and personally for your brand business and repute itself Dubai has not only in the recent years at all times broken records from height to the crunch and now again to height. Again, I noted from yesterday the same subject was touched upon, but I think slightly not elaborated. A 2012 rear record of multi millions again. The locals with us today, their support as per the vision of His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum and the growth of Dubai in the short time span of its history has accommodated, trusted and allowed platforms for us all such as today with their legislations to suit and fit everyone's requirements and I say everyone and not limiting it to any one nation, creed, colour or race as I said for brands when we promote do not look at colour, religion, race or religion we look at the pound, dollar repeat etc that's what counts to make the brand but undoubtedly it is our duty to not only understand this but to respect and give back I believe to our brand and business operations voraciously such as my chief guest of honor tonight here present for me Chief Justice Ahmed Abdullah Muhammad of the real estate court here to participate on behalf of Dubai practically showing their warm love and appreciation for our economical contributions of 
love which had become incumbent upon us to return back wholeheartedly by our sincere actions, contributions of our activities, be it business or personal, and thus show to be true representatives of Asia's rise, promising leaders and participants of the UAE, which we have gathered here tonight for on this unifying platform. Be we Indian, Pakistani, British like myself, or local and Arabic, upholding and supporting the vision of His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, who has allowed us this multinational platform with our contributions in making Dubai successfully in being one of the largest thriving destinations of the world today, as I see all the countries have spoken about, touch and go. For Asians on a multicultural platform, and I say again, multicultural, just like the UK, I pride myself. For everything they have is based on moral, value, etiquette, history, but multicultural, as I have been brought up there. We speak not from self-impulse here tonight, ladies and gentlemen, but factual struggle strife, which I would like to share with you. An ultimate winning from all sorts, whether professional, personal, or then media. But only because our business practices were at all times ethically based and built on moral and factually evident principles, were we ever victorious, outstandingly against all odds, spuriousness, and simple dogmatic misrepresentation. And standing today amongst you all in full vigour and glory, it is one of Asia's most promising brands and leaders. And our track record is evident to this. Not easy, as nothing, as they say, is easy to come if you're out there to get. Only because we follow, and I would like to share, we follow, as humans, morals teach us all. Treat others how you would like yourself to be treated. Big or small, superior or inferior, and then it won't be long before your brand and its owners will be made to be in public demand and market leaders. Because without the public, there is no business. And without their appraisal, there is no leadership. And such has been our leadership being there when we were under no contractual obligation to do so. But only ethics and morals invited us back to defend the innocent. Simply basing our stances upon the visions of our historical world leaders who mark out the world's historical statistics, competition and opposition, which reality anyone may be faced with on a smaller scale. But the same principles apply at all times, as they derive from our human nature. But our personal capacities, including our staff and representatives, when none other than enmity and jealousy the rising of our brand hit from ground zero into multi-millionaire's row, with us leading the brand with celebrity awards, ceremonies being part of Asians richest in the UK right through to the Indian Pakistan cricket matches but all in love support and reverence and constant 24 7 global TV product branding presence we seem to have noticed to become a thorn not knowing to those who could not handle healthy competition due to none other but the lack of trust in their own expertise we would say in classify, which eventually brought about their own ruining and undoing and downfall at no fault whatsoever of ours. As often happens when voracious principles, being the solidity, are challenged wrongfully, for truth stems from its roots and foundations of its own. And while falsehood or misrepresented seriousness is doomed to fail from the offset and must give way to reality when all as a company or individual is upright. Such were the perils we were faced with on face value, so it seems. But mine and our visions and courageous willpower, as I've been told, paved the way for us all, as witness with our rise, fall, and rise again through the side-by-side -side Dubai and the Dubai becoming my second home from this, from where I've commuted twice a week, if not once, since the past few years, from the UK, where I'm born and brought up from. Ladies and gentlemen and brand leaders, we share this all inspiring experiences eight years on from being a misled investor personally and supposed by supposed friends to market brand leaders with the strength and belief and faith in oneself and most importantly the Imperium high above in the heavens who was guiding me throughout as noted and as all and which only added to my determination in that I would overturn each and every false stone regardless. 
combined with the support of my father and mother-in-law, directors and partners, my wife and my family, notwithstanding my mother's prayers throughout, ultimately victory was the destiny of our brand. I hate to say my brand, as everyone's role in support was there, hence why we say it's your brand. And to everyone, thank you. If they say a friend indeed is a friend in need, then I'm fortunate to have such sincere comrades and associates. But my message is clear. When you know you are genuine, when you know you are voracious, when you know you are there for all in original consumer and customer service, then take no rejection, accusation or misrepresentation as a means to stop or interfere with your vision to success and ultimate victory. But on the contrary, know from that moment positively that it is destined to be yours and your brand as market leaders. I like to thank all those who supported, trusted and believed in us and me, our goals, our targets, our visions, our brands, regardless and stood shoulder to shoulder through those struggles, test trials and contentions with the triumphant internal struggle ethically in between right and wrong which would not have been won without them. And you all, thank you. Everyone in bringing down the reprovably reprehensible conduct and views and practices of the handful, but I, without any size of remorse, regret or sorrow, thank them all too. Because at times, you may think that people are doing wrong to you, but if you are heading towards the right direction, things do shape and follow up and reward you in mental manner. And I thank them still for all they're doing and allowing me to bring me to life's platform where I stand with my associates today as they have made me our brand to be and what we are today and with this Asia's most promising leadership awards notwithstanding the legal and government relations positions I am heading towards it's made me much other challenging and given roles to life and my added duty which has brought life has brought in its pride too I would like to thank my Supreme Imperium Master of the Cosmos and all the matter in between. So truth has its laugh of joy. And indeed, if they say the last laughs are the best laughs, then again, thank you for these laughters. For indeed, I always was and most certainly not a follower, but classified always as a leader of which our track record and brand is far than evident and proceeding to this effect. I would like to say hats off to His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum for his vision and sustaining the market with all his associate dignitary in sustaining the market hunt with a swift return of Dubai as we were with you in the same boat sir we salute you in having sustained like did history says Noah's Ark where truth was destined to come to shore are proud enough having been side by side similarly as a powerful part of the UA and UK economy and having promoted it on the global map without having let anyone move us an inch from our brand or then tarnishing Dubai with its targets and visions fight the floods in our path and such ladies and gentlemen is the maintenance the integrity of not only one's brand but the principles behind the brand makers which are one's foundational root as is self-evident in the history of ours of heaven on earth developers and its journey with its proud and honorable dignitaries partners and associates alike i would like to say before coming to a conclusion it's not all about just making a brand it's about sustaining a brand not disappearing from it when duty calls upon you not to. Before moving on to my loved and sincere ones present today, my sincere thanks to my mother for your prayers. Mum, I love you. Dad, you may not be with me in body, but I've always been there in spirit. May you dwell in paradise for eternity. My wife, Samira, present here for your support always. Love you. My children, Hassan, Gav, Sharmil and Zikriya for your love and respect, my in-laws for believing in me wholeheartedly, Mr. Ghulam Ahmed, Parveen Akhtar, two directors, partners, managers and CEOs, my staff, Samara, and transportation manager, Mr. Tahir Khan, my personal legal assistant and dynamic lawyer, Ayman, Jitu Paji, JK Shah, accountant, love you Paji, for many stand for crooked means, but not many stand for honesty and truth, Richard Rones and Jennifer Monday of Thornton Rones for supporting the truth during testing time. Chris Mills and Robert Lawrence, Clyde and Co. Solicitors and Partners, our firm's international lawyers. Gina, Andrew, Fred and Jeffrey, our group's firm's team of lawyers too. Zahid Al Shahi, local advocate and partner UAE and HKESZ. Nan Kev Sharma, Zikria Legal and our fourth company entity. Joining our group of companies of HOED, TOIG and HKESZ. 
I turn now to my most honourable friends and dignitaries here in Dubai with me this evening who are representatives of such truth and sagacity. Habibis, as we always say, I love you too. My dear friends, His Honourable Chief Justice of the Real Estate Court, Ahmed Abdullah Muhammad, thank you very much for attending on my say this evening. Ibrahim al Qabi, Notary Public. Yunus Al Amiri, Notary Public Manager, Dubai Court. Salam Shima, Notary Public, Dubai Court. His Excellency Tahir Wazid, Pakistan Council General. Mr. Taha, Mohammed Tiger, Property Developers. And last but not the least, Asia's most promising associates and partners. Thank you. May you rise to genuine heights. And Rupa, you too. Thank you. My love, Dua, and Salam to all the audience, brands, and leaders. May you continue to traverse to equitable heights. Thank you and good evening. God bless from all us and Hassan Tev Shandal Zikria, group of companies. I hope we are a contribution towards the message that I have relayed. Because, as I said, it's about sustaining and maintaining. Wish you all the best with your brand. God bless you. Good evening. Thank you so much, Mr. Ramadan, for those spirited words. I would like to call to the stage His Honourable Chief Justice of Real Estate of Dubai Court, Mr. Ahmed Abdullah Mohammed. And I would also like to invite to the stage His Excellency, Tariq Mohammed Khan, the Consul General of Pakistan. Now this award goes to a very special and articulate personality whose experiences, contributions and participation within his line of businesses and businessmen have been absolutely outstanding. I would like to call to the stage Mr. Nasser Ramadan. And he has requested all his four kids to join him on stage as well. So we'd also like to invite Haslan, Kef, Shamil and Zikriya, who he has described as his inspiration behind his work and his success. He's a truly inspirational man. He's the CEO of Heaven and Earth UK, a leader of a group of companies. Very special moment. Congratulations. A big, huge congratulations. Thank you so much. Thank you, Kate. And I must say, your speech earlier, sir, was very moving. You guys are doing a wonderful job. Both of you. And I would like to dedicate this award to my mother and my family for my support and everything. God bless you all. Thank you, guys. Thank you, sir. Thank, Thank you, you, gentlemen. Thank you so much for joining us on stage. Special thanks Thank to His Honourable Chief Justice of Real Estate, uh, Dubai Court, Ahmed Abdullah Mohammed, and His Excellency Tariq Mohammed Khan, Council General of Pakistan, and of course Zahir Khan and Dr. Batra. Thank you so Thank much. You. And that, Lane, looks like we have just concluded our Game Changers Award category. That was the Game Changers, and indeed some true Game Changers. And we actually saw some future Game Changers as well <laughs> that's going to be happening. <laughs>